okay so same thing we have to use control right control and delete button to log into the yeah system so we have logged in to sql server now we are going to run the command sysprep so i will use window r key so write sysprep and hit enter it will show this window you have to just double click on sysprep application you have to check box this journalize and reboot okay uh, other things will be by default so just click on ok it, be, it will clean all the plugins and that is uh, copied from the scom dc1 server so once it is cleaned uh, it will be like a new new window and so it has a new IP address and all the things that that may cause the duplication or something okay so for that we are doing this thing we will do the same for scom server also so I am going to start it also okay I am I check this one so it won't appear once again so it is processing meanwhile my other scom server is getting rebooted I started actually it will also take some about five minutes five to six minutes because we have to again um, provide that everything like, like it will after rebooting it will look like uh, we are installing a new operating system but that uh, that is the just a configuration part it won't take it won't take much time okay so scom server is also getting booted okay so scom server is up and same thing control delete provide the password okay again sys prep double click says prep and click on generalize hit ok ok it, it is still running so both is started so it will okay so on sql server it is started now it is going to reboot so we can do one thing we can before uh, starting the server next time we will remove the iso file so it won't wait for that cd and dvd press any key to continue okay okay here so here you will get this screen please read the license terms okay you have to accept it and then the settings region and language click on next and the admin password
okay so it took me about five to six minutes again so total if you count uh, after using the cloning we spend about 15 minutes for to prepare each server so you can see another one is also scom server is also getting rebooted so it took about 15 minutes each server okay so in 30 minutes both server will be ready so i, I am doing parallelly so it will take uh, less time so in 30 minutes both server is ready but if you are installing from the scratch then it will take about 30 minutes for it so we are re reducing that amount of time by using that clone functionality so that is very nice obviously we have logged in to sql server and this is a new one means it looks like new one like again you can see personalized setting uh, is still going on so on this server we are going to install sql 2008 sp1 i don't remember the uh, it is r2 or sp1 we will check so now server manager will pop up I will show you how to disable that because uh, every time you will log in it will pop up automatically once this server manager explorer is open then you have to click on manage it is still loading because we are doing the things in parallel mode So click on manage server manager properties and do not start server manager automatically at login and click OK. And you can click close. So it won't get automatically populated once you logged in. Okay, so this SQL server is ready. So I am going to shut down this one. So you you have to write something in comment then OK button will be shown so you have to click OK OK this will be shut down now we will work with SCOM server only once SCOM server is also ready then we have the servers are ready we are start installing the active directory and then sql server and then scom so we'll wait for its com server to come up yeah it's come up again so you have to check box the same thing give the administrator password okay okay done so i am logging with administrator account and again same we will disable that server manager pop-up window so this is open now click on manage and server manager properties check box this one click ok I'll close this window and again same thing I am going to shut down this system also so we have all the servers ready now we are going to install the components that is required to set up SCOM server okay thanks for watching bye bye